I want to talk about a big uh, situation that I feel like is important that I think people need to know about. Mainly that everyone in this world nowadays tentatively has MSC and M M M C S M M C S. I'm fucking dumb. I got notes. Main character syndrome. It's a big epidemic. Sometimes can be uh, also flip flop with um, narcissists. You people are narcissists. Everyone's a narcissist. I'm a fucking narcissist in some capacity. I think everyone has main character syndrome in some capacity. Cause you know, let's 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 dive into <coughs> let's dive into the situation here. Okay, okay, okay. So, uh, <clears throat> hang on. Let me find the definition. So, main character syndrome, or MCS, the thing I can't say for the life of me for some reason, is the tendency for individuals to perceive themselves as a central character in their own story, which obviously is, that's normal, because you live your own life. Often, though, to the point of overlooking the importance and experience of others, in which, plain in terms or whatever they say is you overlook somebody who also has a life everyone is a living unless you're literally a robot which is getting pretty close to that point but everyone is alive and having their own like experiences in life and i understand that's hard to kind of like it's it's hard to figure out you don't realize that other people are human and it's true it's it's fucking true um the term like main character syndrome has gained traction mainly nowadays uh in the social media era where everyone wants to be important even me i clearly I'm striving for attention, sitting on the staircase of a place I'm probably not going to live in that much longer. So, main character syndrome can be defined as a psychological pattern where individuals view themselves as the protagonist of their life story, often exaggerating their importance and uniqueness. You all exaggerate way too fucking much. Nobody cares. Honestly, no one gives a shit about me. Well, the people important to me give a shit about me. You you get the you get the understanding i i hope um main character syndrome can be seen as an extension of normal self-centered thinking you know narcissism or just being a self-centered prick (sighs) like a lot of youtubers which is the natural part of human development i mean I feel like everyone who streams tentatively has main character syndrome, especially on kick. However, in some cases, it can become exaggerated due to factors. I can't fucking read. Due to various factors. Various is a big, big word there that I couldn't figure out because I'm dumb. Such as social media influence streamers individualistic culture just nowadays and the desire for validation which is a big big fucking thing i think that everyone desires to be validated nowadays honestly um uh, i i desire to be validated look at me i'm i look like a hobo social media plays a significant role in amplifying main character syndrome couldn't breathe platforms like instagram instagram models that was a thing now everyone just has an only fans tiktok and well i in here i put facebook no one uses that encourages users to curate their lives and present the most captivating version of themselves something that no one cares about this constant need for validation and approval can lead to an inflated sense of self-importance you all think you're more important than you actually are i do too honestly i feel like the world would end if i wasn't here it's a big fucking lie popular media also contributes to this phenomenon this 
not actual psychological condition. This is just being a self-centered douchebag for no reason. Popular media stories with strong, relatable protagonists. Yes, I repeated popular media. I just had to point that out because it kind of annoyed me that I reread that. <clears throat> Allow viewers to project themselves into these characters, fostering a sense of identification and empathy. You... You, you're not a strong person, but you see yourself as like being John Wick or something. Like, like you go to the movies, you watch John Wick, and you're like, I'm fucking John Wick. I'm just like that. I could do that too. You can't. You're not Keanu Reeves, okay? You're not John Wick. You're not, you're not a Homelander or anything. You're, you're literally just average Joe guy who seemingly went to the movies for one night or you yeah, turn on Amazon or something like. I'm being really mean right now. I'm really sorry. <laughs> this identification can sometimes blur the lines between fiction and reality, leading individuals to view their own lives through a similar lens. You are believing that you are um, just just main protagonist hero or uh, hero guy or literally just hero from Dragon Quest or something. <sighs> This phenomenon, this phenomena, uh, can also be compared to uh, various other medias. In here, I was talking about cyberpunk. Uh, I love the cyberpunk genre. Uh, a lot in cyberpunk genre does blend into a uh, main character focused syndrome, if you will. Uh, everyone believes they're more important in various cyberpunk medias. Uh, especially like uh, Blade Runner 2049, one of my one of my favorite movies. It was just so beautiful and boring all at the same time. I loved it. Where the whole premise, not to spoil this movie, sorry that I'm spoiling this movie. If you don't want to be spoiled by Blade Runner 2049 by some guy on the internet, turn away from this portion. Skip ahead. I I just just skip. Um, so in Blade Runner, I give you a ample amount of time. In 2049, the whole premise is that uh, uh, Kay, okay, he he is just fucking boring. Like everything in his life sucks. He's a replicant. He's unimportant. All he does is hunt replicants down uh, that that believe that they're more important than they really are, or uh, just outdated. You know that type of thing. He uh, he retires them and stuff. And the big portion of the movie and the story is like there's there's a replicant that uh, was able to give birth, and during that portion, like essentially, it boils down to he believes he was like born from an actual woman and stuff that type of thing, um, believing he had a soul, believing he was important. Spoiler alert, yeah, no, he wasn't. He was just another he was another replicant. But throughout this whole portion he he's seeing their believing. But in in a sense of the whole thing, like it means he was actually kind of important. You know, he was kind of um he he had his own soul. He gained a soul, I guess you can call it. Whatever. But that's just the portion of it is like main character syndrome or just feeling like that self-centered importance uh that you are just uh bigger than the actual big picture and stuff like you are the big picture where essentially you're a big picture in your own life you're, you're not a big picture in anyone else i mean you might be like if you have kids or a wife or anything like that a girlfriend boyfriend it, like regardless your dog dog can be uh you'll be a big portion in that life but uh other than that so at first, it can feel empowering to think of oneself as the main character. It can boost confidence and motivation, you know. However, this mindset can also lead to negative consequences. An overemphasis on oneself can lead to narcissistic tendencies, huh, weird, strained relationships, and a lack of empathy for others. Essentially, you stop caring because why? They're not you. They're not important. They don't matter. It can also create unrealistic expectations and a constant pressure to live up to the main character ideal. Ideal. I. 
said that right, right? Hope so. You know, just move the fuck on. <laughs> uh, finding a balance is key. Embracing the idea of being the protagonist in your own story can be empowering. But it's important to recognize that everyone around us is the main character in their own lives. I really just put a comma on that when there wasn't one, so that was cool. Acknowledging and valuing the experiences and perspectives of others enriches our own lives and fosters genuine connections. You can genuinely be happy if you weren't a dick. So that's just kind of how that goes. (sighs) But regardless, in conclusion, this is the conclusive paragraph of this, uh, main character syndrome is a fascinating reflection of our times. More or less the modern times. More or less now. Social media time. Like Twitch streaming, kick streaming, YouTubing, fucking people being dickheads, you know? The biggest time where the self-centered feeling is prevalent. But mainly IRL streamers. Like, it doesn't have to be kick. It can be like YouTube, Twitch and stuff like that. Like, I'm realizing and seeing now that people who stream tend to be doing this outlandish stuff that does hinder a lot of people, even people on TikTok, obviously. Uh, That was like the big issue is that um, everyone just has this overinflated ego, I guess, and overinflated uh, feeling of being important. And ultimately, you're really not. Like, nobody's as important as uh, themselves, I guess. I I don't freaking know. Um, I'm just talking on my ass. Highlighting both the power and pitfalls of viewing life through a self-centered lens is also something I totally skipped when I started talking and rambling. By understanding and navigating this phenomenon, we can strive for a more balanced, empathetic, and interconnected world. Very big words. The fuck is wrong with me? After all, the best stories are those where every character, big or small, play a vital role. One big thing that I can say about stories, and something that I've come to realize as I've been working on my own type of stories outside of doing absolutely nothing and working and, you know, trying to be a dad the best I can, is creating realistic characters and creating a realistic world where those characters would live and why they would do the things they do and all all these motivations and the biggest thing that I've realized uh, through everything and why I wanted to talk about this topic for absolutely no reason is seeing especially in nowadays just how many people are very much self-centered um very much narcissistic in the way they handle things or just their personalities and just how much the culture of like streaming and YouTube and uh, just everything in general just even if you get weirdly political with it and stuff everything is just very me it's me oriented like if you're not following me if you're not doing what i say or just that type of thought process is just super annoying um ultimately it's everyone forgets that there's others and i guess i just wanted to put a light to it uh kind of like put my two cents into there be annoying for a little bit and take up you know a portion of your time that you probably wish i never did so that's uh that's pretty much that uh hopefully you like me sitting on my stairwell i i couldn't find a place and i didn't feel like going outside because touching grass is kind of stupid or something i don't know like and subscribe if you feel like it uh ring the bell if that's uh if you want notifications when i ever decide to upload again because my schedule is literally whenever i find the time or stuff motivation i guess and uh yeah that'll be it so have fun bye